we um we were discussing the lakers we we're discussing you know kind of what's going on down the stretch in the nba second half of the season and we remiss for us not to discuss obviously what you've already touched on but the tribute to yeah. kobe bryant and his daughter gianna on monday that this happened which of course was in light of their tragic death that just happened recently and it was a very emotional tribute you know many different people involved including michael jordan which mm -hmm. was very interesting to kind of see a little bit more into the relationship that he had yeah. you know you grew up you said as a bulls fan what was it like seeing him talk about kobe i mean we don't see jordan talk ever and 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 actually be vulnerable like that um i mean i think everyone can remember his hall of fame speech <laughs> you know he's uh He's confident uh, slash arrogant, and that's Michael Jordan. That's what made him great. But um, I think the way that he shared, you know, how Kobe was just relentless in learning from from Jordan, and like to a point where Jordan, I tweeted this out, like it like irritated him to the point where he couldn't help but fall in love with him. And, that, and like even Jordan like saying he was such a he was so annoying he was so irritating but like you felt like you were inside that friendship and you saw it you saw even in, in the way that he kind of like walked us through the the good joke with the you know the Jordan meme which was mm -hmm. pitch perfect he delivered it perfectly but you know he he closed that up by saying like this is what he did to me you know he got through to me um, and he he made me he affected me and you know seeing this guy who um you know is this who everyone holds as uh um, one of the greatest of all time if if not uh, the greatest and as a competitor um and who we all knew that kobe idolized and um you know mimicked his game after you could see just in the, sometimes early in his career the way he talked the way his, his, his movements um it just it, it all that whole memorial yesterday was just you know they the people who knew him and loved him like truly personally doesn't doesn't owe the public anything but you know it was such a healing um and an emotional experience because you just felt like you got to know him a little bit more mm -hmm. um as a person um not just as the guy that we saw wearing the the eight and the two four and you know it, uh, of course it was incredibly sad but there was Th that, that's what it was. It was a celebration of like how special he truly was, um, which was not something that like even as covering the NBA, um, you know, with his final years, like I even looked at him that, you know, that way, even when he won his Oscar, I'm like, why did he win this Oscar for, <laughs> for dear basketball? Did he just win it like, you know, because he's Kobe Bryant, but then watching dear basketball after that, I mean, granted, like I have a different perspective on it, but it was truly beautiful. Um, and that I think that's just what I kind of learned is that you really just can't like the people are so much more, especially like famous people, um, than what they're presented like mm -hmm. in front of you. And, you know, you, you should give people the benefit of the doubt always. You don't know what struggles you're going through. You don't know um, how complex they are. And I just, you know, what we learned so much about this guy and how much he um went out of his way to make other people better. Um, those the people he loved, he invested in other people. And I think Jimmy Kimmel had a great line to like sum up the whole day. It was just like, work hard and support those you love. And I think that's, those are two great, um, you know, messages uh, for, to learn from Kobe's life.